Next question, Matthew Cullum, and then we're coming back to Carl. Yes. Sure. <clears throat> Sorry. Thanks a lot. Matthew Lee, Inner City Hi. Press. Mm -hmm. Hi. On behalf of the Free UN Coalition for Access, thanks a lot for your briefing. As always, <clears throat> I wanted to ask you sort of a different question. I don't know if you've seen recently there's been a detailed reporting in The Intercept how the U.S. Pentagon used a humanitarian slash Christian NGO called Humanitarian International Services Group, HISG, to essentially conduct intelligence inside North Korea. And I understand the connection, at least to me, would be that one of the, one of the you know, charges and one of the practices that you're looking at is discrimination on religion and crackdown on people. So I wondered, one, either if you've seen the report, and two, generally, do you have any recommendations for members of the international community, particularly those concerned about human rights in North Korea, to, uh, of terms of how should, do you think this would be a good practice, the use of, the f some, of the, some of the few NGOs to actually collect intelligence? And I just finally, it may seem like a footnote, I notice in your report you deal with uh, um, North Koreans outside of the country and their conditions of work. The mission here is brought up uh, was the, the, what they call the detention of their sailors in the Mudubong ship in Mexico for some months. They said that they were on the ship that was seized by Mexico without food and unable to communicate. And I just wonder, some people were dismissive of that, but is that something that you've looked at? Is that, with that, is that within the mandate or within the, 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 your mission to look at the treatment of North Koreans outside of the country by other countries? Thank you, Matthew. Uh, on the um, first uh, part, uh, I've seen the I've seen the uh, news report uh, on that, uh, but uh, I have not uh, really looked into that at, uh, at this uh, at this point. Uh, uh, the the nature of the problem, of course, uh, is is very specific. It, it, it has to do with uh, with a case of. Uh, of what is being reported reported in the in the media, and therefore I, I would hesitate to comment uh, uh, too far on this, and I would perhaps uh, want to seek uh, further clarification uh, on this issue by uh, contacting parties that would be knowledgeable about this. So uh, I, I wouldn't want to speculate on 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 the truth or untruth of this, uh, uh, but uh, this again uh, uh, brings out the, the, the whole dimension of, of the North Korean problematic, and that is that uh, it, it is such a uh, uh, an isolated, closed society where information is, 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 uh, is, is a, at a high, a high premium that that uh, uh, ways and means need need to be to be uh, sought to to gather information uh, uh, to get a picture of what is happening there and uh, and therefore I I, I can understand that uh, uh, these things could happen but uh, to what extent uh, the 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 uh, d details there are uh, the way they are. So, uh, on this uh, second issue uh, on treatment, certainly this would have to be. This is part of the mandate of the uh, rapporteur, and uh, and that is to uh, look at the well-being of the Korean people, no, no, the North Korean uh, people, either inside or outside the uh, country. And and therefore, uh, we will certainly be. I will certainly be. Uh, Looking into this uh, and and finding out um, further on uh, what what uh, the the what is this state of of this uh, uh, matter uh, and this sort of merges into into the uh, bigger picture of uh, mistreatment mistreatment of uh, North Korean uh, workers in uh, the other regions of the world, including the Middle East and and Russia. <coughs> 